Let's talk about soil microorganisms. There are literally billions of soil microorganisms in a gram of soil. There are bacteria, there are fungi, there are nematodes, there are algae, there are rotifers, just a tremendous amount of soil microorganisms. And so what we try to do in some cases is we try to measure the activity of those organisms. And how are we going to do that? One way that we do it is by taking some soil and putting it in a flask. And this soil pretty much has uh, fairly high organic matter. And what we do is we connect this flask uh, with a jar. And this jar is actually connected to a source of air. And what's happening is that the barium uh, hydroxide, which is in this container, is interacting with the carbon dioxide from the air that we're bringing in from the outside and it's precipitating it out as barium carbonate, this white precipitate. This CO2 free air is then passed over the flask where the microorganisms are carrying out the decomposition of organic matter. And what they're doing when they decompose the organic matter is they're releasing carbon dioxide. So they're releasing that CO2, it's actually being sucked into this flask here, all right? This also has barium hydroxide in it, and what's happening, that CO2, which is coming off from those microbes, is being trapped in this uh, tube here, and it's precipitating out as barium carbonate. We can take that barium carbonate, uh, once the experiment's over, we can put it on a sheet of paper, we can dry it out, and we can actually weigh it and get a good idea of the microbial activity going on uh, in a particular soil on a pretty rough basis, but it's a, a nice little uh, calculation of, of microbial activity.